Hey, Coach. Hi. Let's just start with, you know, the not the emergence, but as far as Rebecca's string the last few weeks and just kind of what she's meant to the team and maybe if she's even surpassed Anna as your number one pitcher. Um, Re Rebecca's done a great job for us, um, but we're not surprised. And I know we've talked about that a little bit before. Um, she's incredibly composed in the circle, and I think that, you know, speaks volumes to the comfort with the rest of the team. Um, you know, the pitcher set the tone, or the leadoff batter sets the tone, and um, and she's done a great job with that. And she's really, you know, focused on her pitches and taking command of them, and really commits to whatever pitch Annie calls, she throws it, and she throws it the best she can to the spot she's supposed to. Um, and she's got, for the most part, she's had great pinpoint precision and that's been the the real key to her success is she never tries to do too much doesn't really try to overthrow uh, just puts the ball where she's supposed to put it and it's been really nice to see you guys kind of came unglued a little bit in the second game the doubleheader and then bounced back nicely on on Sunday I mean how important was that for you guys just to you know forget about game two and, and come out strong in game three and get that win it was huge, and you know, you know, we're in the fight with Long Beach and and with Northridge and with Davis and uh, everybody else. And so, for us to come back and take that game um, speaks volumes to really the commitment of the team. And you know, we came out and we fought and we fought hard all day on Sunday. And you know, we got in a couple situations and we were able to get out of them. And um, you know, again, Rebecca came in and shut it down. And um, sometimes it, you just need a different look, whether it's. Uh, at bat, whether it's bringing in a pitcher, whether it's just making a defensive change, and um, you know we're trying to figure out how to shut it down when we do make the mistakes a little bit more quickly. And um, and Rebecca has proven to be the person that's been able to come in and do that for us. And you know she's definitely been the key to the success over the last few weeks. Cool. Talk about the big series this weekend with Northridge, just a game back of you guys. Uh, you know what's it going to take to to beat these guys? You know, we, we talk about it day in and day out, and, you know, in this conference, anybody can win. It just depends on who shows up and who fights the hardest and really till the end. And, um, you know, it'll, it'll, be a, it'll be fun for us in the um, fact that Ronnie Sperry, who played here, um, is now the coach there, and Sarah Watt is one of the assistants, and so um, there'll be a little familiarity there. So I think... Um, that's a little bit different, so there won't be as much, um, I don't know, there'll probably be a little banter on the field, but um, at, at the end of the day, we're focused on just really taking it one game at a time and, and showing up and, and fighting as hard as we can and bringing what we can bring. Um, you know, and if we play well, uh, then I, I think we'll be successful. Hi, Coach. Hi. Did you say Ronnie is the head coach there? She is technically the associate coach, oh, okay. but she's running the show there. She has done it all year, and she's doing a great job. Oh, wow. Yeah. I remember covering her here. Wow, I didn't realize yeah. that. Um, well, we wish you guys the best of luck against her. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, anyway, just talk about uh, the, um, uh, I guess, the benefit of playing on, on your home turf and, and having such a big series at home and what that means for you guys. Uh, it's great. You know, we've got the next two weekends at home, and then we finish up on the road. And so um, we're excited to, to play at home you know, in front of our home crowd. Our, our travel schedule has actually been really nice for us this year. It felt like when we went on the road this last weekend to Long Beach that we hadn't traveled in forever. Um, we played at Santa Barbara, and so we just went down for the day, both days, and so we've been able to, you know, have the luxury of staying in our own houses or dorms or apartments um, and have that comfort and that routine. Um, you know, I think a lot of people benefit from having the same routine day in and day out. and. Um, our kids are excited to play at home and in front of our home crowd, and hopefully we get a great crowd out there. Uh, and with so many, you know, young players or, or new starters to this year's team, uh, now that the season's, you know, well, you know, in its, in its home stretch, I mean, you feel like the progress has, has, has been sufficient by those young players and that now that they've matured and are now just regular key members of the team? Uh, definitely. I think that, um, you know, we struggled a, little, a lot in the beginning and, you know, we basically threw them in the deep end of the pool and it was sink or swim. And, you know, we managed to stay afloat long enough to figure out that, oh, yeah, we can do this. We know how to play. And, and that's been 
great for us to see, and it's been really nice for them to finally get the payoff. And, you know, we just kept trying to say, we can do this. Just hang in there. And um, once we hit conference, we really started to click as a team, and everybody's really committed to put the team first. And that's been the key to our success. Nobody's trying to be the superstar. Nobody's trying to do too much. Um, just take care of business and, and get after it. And so it's been fun for them to see the success and to, for them to know that they can get this done too.